Hello, welcome back to Jai Shri's classroom. I am Jai Shri Pradeep. In the previous video, we had seen classification of functions and examples. Today, I will be discussing on another important idea called limit and continuity. First, we are considering limit. What is actually limit? You consider the real line R. The real line is denoted by capital R. An unreal line suppose a point 1. This we are considering. A person can reach the point 1 through these two ways. Either from the left side or from the right side. Instead of a person... Let me take a variable x. So this variable x can reach the point 1 from left side or from right side. So x can reach the point 1. Instead of that statement, we are considering another way that this x tends to 1. Or we can say x approaches to 1. Not exactly equal to 1. x is simply approaching to the point 1. And mathematically we can denote it by this symbol x tends to 1. x after that put an arrow mark and 1. We can call this as x tends to 1 or x approaches to 1. So here when x is approaching from the left side towards the point 1, we can call this as the left limit and that is denoted by x tends to 1 minus. And if x is approaching from the right side, this can be denoted by x tends to 1 minus plus and that is called the right limit. In both direction, x is approaching to the point 1, not exactly 1. That is the concept of limit. Now you consider the limit of a function. We know y is equal to f of x be a function. As x is approaching to a, our function f of x is approaching to L. Then we write limit x tends to A f of x equal to L. This means that when x is tending to the value A, our function is approaching to another value L. Then we can say that if such an L exists, then we can say that limit of this function exists and we can denote it by limit x tends to A f of x equal to L. The symbol x tends to A, you can write below the symbol limit the short form of the limit l i m if such an l exists then we can say that the limit of the function exists now methods of finding limit of a function we have different methods for evaluating the limit of a function direct substitution method factorization method rationalization method and L hospital's rule. So first consider one example. Find the limit of the function limit x tends to 2 x square plus 4 divided by x plus 2. So what you have to find here? See this is actually our function f. So we should find f is approaching to 
what value when x is approaching to the number 2 or the reverse as x is approaching to 2 f is approaching to what number this can be evaluated directly by substituting the value of x equal to 2 in the function given. So, solution limit x tends to 2 x square plus 4 divided by x plus 2 is equal to. See, what you have to do is you put x is equal to 2. In the place of x, you substitute x is equal to 2. So, what we will get? It is 2 square plus 4 divided by 2 plus 2. 2 square is 4. So, 4 plus 4 divided by 4. It is 8 by 4. That is equal to 2. So, in this question, when you are substituting x is equal to 2 in the place of x in the function, we will get a specific number. This number exists. Therefore, we can say that the limit of this function is 2. Now, you consider another example. Find the limit of the function. Limit x tends to 1, x square plus 1 divided by x plus 1. So, the question is this. As x is approaching to the value 1, f of x is approaching to what value and what is f of x f of x is the function given that is x square plus 1 divided by x plus 1 now what is the solution limit x tends to 1 x square plus 1 divided by x plus 1 that is equal to so, as I said earlier, you substitute x is equal to 1 in the function. So, the answer is 1 square plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. Therefore, the final answer is 1. Now, another question. Find the limits. Limit x tends to 1. x cube minus x square plus 1. And what is the solution? You can do it by direct substitution method. So, in the place of x, you put the limiting value 1. So, answer is 1 cube minus 1 square plus 1. So, it is equal to 1. Similarly, you can do limit x tends to 1, x into x plus 1. So, on substituting x is equal to 1 here, you will get 1 into 1 plus 1. So, 1 into 2, the answer is 2. Now, you consider another example. Find the limit of the function. Limit x tends to 2, x square minus 4 divided by x plus 2. So, the question is this. As x is approaching to 2, f of x is approaching to what value? And what is f of x the function? This is our f of x. Suppose we are doing this by direct substitution method. That means in the place of x, you put x is equal to 2. So when you are putting x is equal to 2 in the numerator and denominator, what will be the answer? It is 2 square minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2. So, 4 minus 4 divided by 0. So, answer is 0 divided by 0. Now, my question is this. Can we cancel? Since this is 0 by 0, can we cancel the numerator and denominator? No. See, these types of expressions are called indeterminate forms. We have different types of indeterminate forms. Just look at these different forms. 0 by 0, this is an indeterminate form. Infinity by infinity, another indeterminate form. We don't know the value of infinity by infinity. 
Next one is 0 into infinity. We don't, we know 0 into a finite number is always 0. But if it is infinity, 0 into infinity, it is undefined. Now another one is infinity minus infinity. Infinity minus infinity not equal to 0. We know a finite number a minus a that is equal to 0. But infinity minus infinity not equal to 0. And another one is 1 raised to infinity. 1 if you are multiplying infinite number of times we don't know the answer. It is indeterminate. But 1 raised to n if n is finite it is surely 1. This is the definite answer. That means when 1 we are multiplying 10 times or 100 times or 1000 times the answer is 1. But 1 raised to infinity is indeterminate. And another one is 0 raised to 0. See all these forms are put it in the category indeterminate forms. So when you are evaluating a particular limit and if it comes in one of these categories, those limits can be evaluated by using different methods. We cannot use the direct substitution method when your value becomes one of these forms. Now, before going to the problem, you have to just revise a few identities that you have learnt in lower classes. The first formula, we are very familiar with the formula a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And what about a minus b whole square? It is a square minus 2ab plus b square. And one more formula a plus b into a minus b that is equal to a square minus b square and the reverse also you want to remember. Suppose we have the, the term a square minus b square then this can be split to a plus b into a minus b. Now look at the previous example. Find the limit of the function limit x tends to 2 x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2. We had seen that by direct substitution method, the answer is 0 by 0. That means it, uh, it belongs to indeterminate form. So in that case, we want to factorize the numerator. Look at the numerator. See, this is numerator. x square minus 4. Can we split this? Can we factorize this? That means the factorization method x square minus 4 is actually of the form a square minus b square. So just now we had seen a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. Okay. So this x square minus 4 we can express like x plus 2 into x minus 2. This is actually x square minus 2 square. In the place of x, a, we have x and in the place of b, we have 2. Therefore, x plus a means x, x plus 2 and a minus b means x minus 2 divided by the same denominator x minus 2. Look at the numerator and denominator. The same factor in the numerator and denominator, it get cancelled. So we have limit x tends to 2, x plus 2. This can be evaluated directly by substituting x is equal to 2. Therefore 2 plus 2, final answer is 4. One more example. Find the limit of the function x cube minus 2x square divided by x square minus 5x plus 6 as limit x tends to 2. Let me check what is happening when you are substituting x is equal to 2 directly. 
In the place of x, when we are putting 2, we will get 2 cube minus 2 into 2 square divided by 2 square minus 5 into 2 plus 6. So, it belongs to an indeterminate form 0 by 0. So, do factorization method. How can we cancel the, uh, factorize the numerator? x cube minus 2x square. You can see bo from both the terms we can take out x square. So, this is x square into, you start a bracket, from x cube the remaining term is x minus from the second term it is 2. So, x square into x minus 2 divided by x square minus 5x plus 6. How can we factorize? See, we know this is a quadratic expression. Okay, x square minus ax plus 6. Already we have x square plus ax plus b. This is a quadratic form. And here the sum is equal to minus 5 and product is equal to 6. Product is equal to 6. The sum means it is coefficient of x that is minus 5 and product is plus 6 the constant term. So you should find two numbers such that their product is 6 and sum is minus 5. Find out two numbers. What are they? They are minus 2 and minus 3. You consider these two numbers. Their product is minus 2 into minus 3. That is 6. And what about their sum? Minus 2 plus minus 3. The sum is minus 5. Therefore, we can factorize the denominator. Look at the factorization. x minus 2 into x minus 3. This is the factorization. Therefore, from the numerator and denominator, x minus 2 get cancelled. And the remaining is limit x tends to 2, x square divided by x minus 3. So, this is by direct substitution, put x is equal to 2. Therefore, it is 2 square divided by 2 minus 3. So, 4 divided by minus 1. The answer is minus 4. So, I hope you understood the two methods. One is the direct substitution method and the second one is by factorization method. So, in between we discussed indeterminate forms and three identities. Thank you very much.